Hey, well, good morning. I got a mess here. Uh, about 20 years ago, I had bought a half a dozen old motor-driven welders. There was a couple thousand amp DC welders. I tore them apart, burned them in a pile of junk, and I finally got around to clean them. Of course, now they say you can't sell burnt copper. Of course, you got to get the burnt copper out of the steel so you can sell the burnt steel. You know, they'll buy the burnt steel. Funny how uh, tore the rotors apart and they great big long strips all tangled up. And to make them easier storage, I cut them up in little short pieces right here. And uh, there's Oh, about a hundred pound air better. Funny how they're covered with uh, cloth and varnish. And I took a sample uptown and a couple places. And they say, well, that's dirty copper. They only give me like 40 cents a pound or something. So if I can get uh, cleaned up, you know, it's worth about a buck and a half more or so to get that stuff off. So I had an idea if I'd put them in an old cement mixer and tumble them and tumble them and beat the dirt off of them, it might work. So I went out back and here's my old cement mixer. It had been out there for years and it was stuck solid. I worked yesterday about an hour or so and got it loosened up. And the legs are all, all messed up. Anyhow, I'm going to straighten them out, put it back together, put a motor on it. Put some of that copper pieces in there and and some rocks or something. And let's sit there and run and bang and bang and bang till it beats all that dirt off. I'm going to see if it works. Anyhow, I'll get to work and get at this and see what I can do. All right, I'm back again. Spent about half hour, 45 minutes. Got the frame all straightened out put back on and uh, this bottom corner rusted out so I'm going to have to weld a patch on it and see the thing turns you got to put a motor on there and then I'll see whether it works or not alright later yeah, good afternoon I got the old cement mixer patched up put a motor on it and a belt got it unstuck got it working made a patch where it was rusted out and it works and what I'm doing with it I cleaned a bunch of old uh, DC motor driven welders and had a whole bunch of copper heavy heavier pieces like these right here with uh, varnish and some str cloth string whatever wrapped around it and uh, anyhow, the, I took sample up town a couple places. And they said, oh, that's insulated copper, 40 cents a pound. They said if it was clean, it'd be 250 or something like that, or three dollars maybe. I forget what, but so anyhow, I decided I need to clean it. So I got the cement mixer going, put in there. And do some tumbling. Look at there. That just shiny as clean as can be. And then here's some. See it's starting to come off. So it looks like it's gonna looks like it's gonna work. I don't know how long it'll take. Got a lot of rattly banging. Now I'll show you how this. It's hard on the ears.
Well, you can see it works. Beating that stuff off there. And, uh, oh, that's a good 100 pounder better than that bucket. So, if I put up with the noise here long enough, I'll probably make $150, $200 just cleaning it up. All right, that's all for now. All right, I had the thing banging here for two or three hours. Got all kinds of dirt and dust. There's what we started with. Something looked about like that. And here's what we got when we got done. I think that ought to serve the purpose. All right, I better finish it up.